Today, we're answering the age old question, Adobe or Canva? For years, Canva has plagued the graphic design scene, allowing any old average Joe to come up in here and act like they're a graphic designer. They use their fancy templates and it looks pretty decent. This has frustrated graphic designers like me who have spent years mastering the craft and getting used to all of Adobe's quirks. Like, why is it so hard to make a triangle in Illustrator? Regardless, today we're gonna figure out which software is the best by putting it to the test and making the same design in Canva and Adobe Illustrator. Maybe Canva isn't so bad after all. So Canva comes in two options here. There's a free version and there's a pro version. Now this is important because everybody pretty much knows Canva as the free version, whereas Adobe, you can't get Illustrator for free. If you just want Adobe Illustrator alone, it's $22.99 a month, where Canva Pro is $14.99 a month, so half the price. So I'm gonna use this random client generator and just hit the button and it gives you like a new client and something to make for them. So I'm gonna hit new challenge in three, two, one, boom. Design a VR tool for a hotel in Brussels. Uh, <laughs> three, two, one, boom. Design a banner for GoPro. That should be doable. What will you be using Canva for? I don't see YouTube. <laughs> Whoa, look at the confetti. What will you design today? A banner for GoPro. <laughs> Wow, browse high quality a banner for GoPro templates. So these aren't bad. There's kind of a lot of them. I need to search for something that's like GoPro. Like, I always think of a GoPro like this, like it's very outdoorsy. Outdoors adventure, yes. So now we got outdoor adventure banners. This one kind of looks nice. It's pretty simple. Oh God, but it's pro. I don't have that type of money. So we need to filter out the expensive ones. Can we do that? Whoa, I feel like those got a lot uglier, a lot faster, and this is going to GoPro, so the stakes are kind of high. Let's see what we can do. International Mountain Day. It's a banner, 72 by 36 inches. You get to choose the material. This is kind of interesting. Customize this template. So we need some sort of catchy GoPro tagline. Ready to experience. This photo is pretty good already. What happens if I try to edit the photo? The Magic Studio. So this has background remover, magic eraser. Oh my God. Everything on this program is freaking expensive. Are the filters paid too? Okay, no, they're not. That's cool. This isn't in Illustrator. You could do it in Photoshop, but again, then you'd have to buy Illustrator and Photoshop, which is even more expensive. That's cool. I like Stark. This is without, this is with. It's got duo tone. Wow, look at that. So that is nice. These are all a effects and things that you can't really do in Illustrator. You could pull off blur, but you're not gonna be able to pull off duo tone in Illustrator. You need to open up Photoshop to get that done. There's so many buttons, there's so many graphics. Is there GoPro? GoPro. Oh, there is, there's a GoPro. It's freaking watermarked? You have to pay to remove the watermarks. I don't think this program's free. Let's see what else we got, draw. Oh, okay, this is kind of fun too. Maybe I outline our little camera here. It's not very smooth, I'll tell you that, but I'm also using a trackpad. That's kind of fun. So you can select it, you can make it bigger and stuff, but you can't change the paths. E emojis, YouTube, Grayson's graphics. I don't pop up. This fingernail is here, but I'm not there. That's not a good look for Canva. Let's get the GoPro logo. I think our client probably just wants that in here somewhere. I'm adjusting to Canva. Like I would put it right here, but I would invert it and I'd make it white. Is that something that I can do in Canva? I don't think it is. The other thing that you can do in Canva that's pretty cool, they've got like animate. I'd love like something pretty subtle. Wow, that's so sick because that's like what a GoPro would be doing if it was on your like head. It would be bouncing around like that. And you cannot do that in Illustrator, that's for sure. And then you could also animate the text. I would just do something like, a fade, but you can't change the speed without paying. There it is. I mean, it looks good. The GoPro is wiggling around. It looks pretty decent, especially with me having never used the program before. Now, if we were to download it as an SVG, which is an actual graphic designer file, you need to pay for that. Seeing a recurring theme, Canva, you really want my money. Oh my God, if you want CMYK, you need to pay for Pro. Oh, it won't let me download it because the freaking GoPro. I'll just screenshot it. Oh. God, this is my dog. <laughs> Jesus, Sandy, say hi to the subscribers. 
So you might notice I'm not in the studio today. That's because my studio, don't tell anybody, it's actually a storage unit. Oh God, oh God, <laughs> be free. So I went to my studio to try to record this video, but then I realized that Canva needs Wi-Fi. That is maybe a disadvantage of Canva. I try to make it nice in here for you guys. I try to build a set. This is my guitar. I just took a bunch of records. We got Blondie, Billy Joel, Poison, The Strokes, Bruce Springsteen over here. This is car wash song. The studio will be back in the next video. Now let's make this same design in Adobe Illustrator. We do have templates down here, but I can't search for like an outdoorsy template or even a template that's the right size. So I'm not gonna use those. So I'm gonna hit create and we are given a completely blank canvas. I'm gonna go through my normal workflow. So what do we know? We need to build a banner for GoPro. This looks good, but I would also like go to Google and I would just look at it for inspiration. Wow. I love that. I like the splotchiness and stuff. This is very simple. Oh, this also looks pretty cool. Okay, so the other thing I would do, I would go to GoPro's website and I just see kind of what they're doing. So I'm gonna keep the same elements in my Adobe Illustrator version. Okay, now the other option I get with Illustrator, or really not option, but a requirement, is I do have to choose the font. So let's see if we can steal GoPro's font. GoPro. We can download this for free and just install this virus onto my computer. GoPro also has this other font. Maybe we'll use that other font for here. That kind of just looks like a bold Helvetica type of deal. All caps. I think I'm gonna get rid of buy now for this one. Okay, so now we got a great starting point. I'm gonna do the same sort of thing where I have like a picture in the background to make it consistent. I should probably use a free stock image, pixels. Knowing that my text is in the middle like this, I'm trying to find something that maybe is at the top of the frame. So this is where Canva was pretty helpful is it had a picture already for me. I'm wasting a lot of time right now trying to find a picture that's just gonna work in my framing. This might be our best bet. Wait, 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 what? Canva? <laughs> I did not know this was here. Oh my God. Bonus point Canva. Now Illustrator's a little bit more complicated with things, so. Boom. Okay, it's looking very much like the GoPro style right here. They've got this button, it's a white button. So I'm gonna copy that. I add a little movement to it by rotating it a little bit. Okay, so to finish this off and spice it up a little bit, I'm gonna add some sort of grungy design element like this sort of thing, I think it's cool. I'm gonna use one of these like wacky effects because I think it will make it kind of cool. Boom, perfect, that's grungy. We can export as whatever we want. These are our two GoPro designs. I spent a little bit longer on this Illustrator file than I did the Canva. But looking at the two, obviously the Illustrator one is better. This one seems a lot more professional. It's a lot more customized. I think it delivers the message stronger than this one. It doesn't look like a professional graphic designer made it. I don't think GoPro would really use this one even if it's animated. Okay, so let's do this again, but this time let's use Canva Pro because even Canva Pro is still a lot cheaper than Adobe Illustrator. $120 a year. I hope I don't forget to cancel this subscription. Whoa, I got confetti. Wow, I feel so pro right now that I have Canva Pro. Not sponsored at all, by the way. New challenge, boom. Design a team shirt for a bed and breakfast. That sounds fun, why not? Bed and breakfast. And now we have pro designs. I'm so excited. I like this one, this morning breakfast. Like, what do I need to do now? This t-shirt is already made. I guess I need to like add the brand to it. That's the point. Four tips for a brilliant tea. They even give me tips. Oh, look at that. She's styling in it. I like it being white. Okay, that looks great already. We just need to add our brand. Create a brand for a bed and breakfast. Tranquil Haven Retreats? This is why you don't use AI to do stuff. That's a terrible name. Welcome to Snuggle Nook Retreat in Pillow Palace. Now we're talking. Where dreams are fluffed and breakfast is served with a side of giggles. This is really what I needed. How do I move this thing? Okay, so it's got some guides and stuff. That looks pretty good. 
Honestly, I kind of like the rest of it. I don't drink coffee. That's the only thing. Maybe I can change the coffee out. Tea cup. I just take this and I can just drag it and it just immediately replaces the coffee. I'm surprised it didn't write out tea for me. What's magic right? No way. I didn't even have to go to ChatGPT. It has AI in there. Sprinkle fairy dust. Where slumbered is adorned with whimsy and breakfast is sprinkled with laughter. And then you can just print the t-shirt. Honestly, that's kind of sick. So that really shows the ultimate Canva. I think I also want to design from scratch in Canva. It literally updates what it looks like on the t-shirt in real time. If I put this baked fresh on here, oh my God, that's crazy. We can add our custom font. I want this to be like rounded. Oh. Curve right there. That's exactly what I wanted. And I found that in like five seconds. I want to add a little lift to it. That's actually something I use a lot is a blurred drop shadow like that. And then it'd be cool if there was just something like in the middle. If I see a teacup, I feel like it's an Airbnb. So I, I kind of like that. Oh, wow. This looks really nice. Yes, this is the exact style I was like thinking in my head. You know, I think what it is, is the color of this thing. Photo colors. I don't need an eyedropper tool because it has the photo colors right here. Yeah, that looks pretty pretty decent. I don't think it's the best design I've ever made. And I also can't take a lot of credit for it because this teacup is really doing the majority of the work. And then you can even add your own little brand and you can set up your brand kit, put your logo in here, put your color palette in here, your fonts. It's freaking got AI to write and sound like your brand. I've always hated on Canva, but this is actually pretty impressive. Let's make a t-shirt for Snuggle Nook, Retreat, and Pillow Palace in Illustrator to really compare and see is Canva better? I don't know, let's find out. Let's take that pink and use it as a background. I kind of liked settling on the scripty font, so I'm gonna go to my script fonts here and choose one that I kind of like. And then we can use type on a path, which is kind of more difficult in Illustrator. You have to make a circle, go over here, get type on a path tool, and then click on that. It doesn't really center it very nicely for you either. Instead of just grabbing a graphic, I'm gonna kind of draw my own teacup just because in Illustrator we have that capability. I'm gonna bring this in here and I'm gonna just kind of abstractly replicate it. Super simple design in both Canva and Illustrator. In Illustrator, I did hand draw this and I made it into a vector graphic, which can be scaled at any resolution. And it's kind of got more of that custom feel. And then in Canva, we just drag something in. I know that Illustrator has a mock-up beta tool. So maybe we try that. I think it looks the best on this. Edit on Canvas, what? It's definitely taking longer than Canva. Oh, there it is. Okay, so I can change things out. I can make that Pillow Pals and that changes it directly on the mock-up. There is a nice cute little Adobe stock watermark there because I have to buy it. No, a license is like 80 bucks. Even though I pay for Illustrator, I would still have to buy the license to this stock photo. Also, the mock-up tool in Adobe right now is super limited. There's literally only these Four. Okay, so looking at all the designs we made today, I can pretty confidently say that Canva Free is terrible, but Canva Pro is actually pretty helpful and it's pretty good. The other thing that we learned is that Canva and Illustrator are just fundamentally not the same program. I would almost compare Canva closer to InDesign than Illustrator. It's really a program to lay out graphics that already exist and it does that very well. Whereas Illustrator is a program to make new graphics from scratch. I think if you're just making a simple poster graphic where you're just adding elements onto one graphic, Canva is probably the superior program out of all of them. But if you're making a graphic from scratch, it would be Illustrator. If you're making a booklet with multiple pages, it would be InDesign. And if you're photo manipulating something, that would be best in Photoshop. If you're getting into graphic design and you don't have Adobe, Canva is free. Even the paid version is cheaper than Adobe. Let me know in the comments if you guys think Canva is actually kind of helpful or if it's Adobe all the way every day. In the last 28 
28 days, we are up 3,178 subscribers, which is awesome. That's basically all of our subscribers have come within the last month. And I'm super thankful for that. I just wanna keep making great videos for you guys. Right now we're at 3,667 subscribers and you could be 3,668th. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. Help me grow the channel. I post videos every Tuesday, some sort of fun graphic design challenge where we don't take ourselves too seriously. And I would love to see you stick around. Last, last, last thing, even though I have over a thousand subscribers I don't have enough watch time hours to get monetized on YouTube so I don't make any money off these videos if you want to help out the channel so I can keep making these videos I started the first club I want to recognize everybody that's been a part of the channel since the beginning so until we hit a hundred thousand subscribers anybody that joins the first club is going to be on my list of the people that were the OGs that were here first supporting the channel from the start right now this is totally donation I can't offer you anything but if you want to support the channel there are three tiers here so you can donate to the channel help me keep making videos like this one after I hit 100,000 subscribers this will all change but I want to recognize the people that were here first and I'll give you exclusive access to benefits later down the road thank you guys so much for watching this video and supporting the channel and I'll see you next Tuesday